this shit! <laughs> this episode of Triple CHS is brought to you by DraftKings.com. Hey, how you doing? Joe Lowe's on Bonus King. You doing good? That's fucking great. I'm wicked fucking awesome myself. Listen, I want to talk to you skitters about Reebok today. Now, I know there's a lot of negativity going around about Reebok. I know a lot of you guys are looking at Reebok and you're thinking about getting your boys to go yacht on it and throw it in the Charles. Well, before you do that, take a look behind me. You see that structure there? That's not a fucking hotel. That's my house, all right? That's my abode. I take shits in that place, okay? How do you think I got that, huh? What, with performance bonuses? Are you fucking kidding me? I won 15. That's only 750 grand. You think I could buy a place like that for 750? I couldn't buy a fucking room in that house for 750. No, I got that place by being wicked fucking smart, that's how. So when I talk about Reebok, when I talk about sponsorships, you should fucking listen, okay? Now here's the thing about the Reebok deal, you fucking chowder heads. The deal's already done, alright? There's no more renegotiating the deal. Reebok and the UFC came to terms and those terms are the fucking terms. What kind of fucking business sense would Reebok have if they said, oh, we get this deal for this much money? Well, let me pay you three times that because I'm a fucking mock. you telling me that if Tom Brady says he'll play for the Pats for $12 billion a season, they're gonna turn around and say, well, actually, here's $52 million because we're fucking idiots. That's not how that shit works. Okay, so the deal is done. The money's the money. Reebok's not paying you your sponsorship money. That money's coming from the UFC. I hear a lot of fighters saying they were making a shit ton more before Reebok, but that was probably the case for only a handful of guys. For some reason, people think because motherfuckers were getting 150 k for wearing a walkout shirt back in the Brock Lesnar era, that that's how it works now. No, you're on the fight pass prelims with an audience of absolutely dick. You couldn't pay your grandmother to put a name on your fight shorts. The money's just not there, and if you're a big star now, chances are you're getting your money on the front end. Remember, the UFC's the only one who's doing payouts now. Reebok just bought a deal with the UFC. They're not sending you any checks during fight week. And you know what? Now these guys on the lower end of the car, they don't gotta hire shady fucking managers anymore. They don't gotta hire shady fucking managers to find a fucking sponsorship from Hugh HugeDickCondoms.net the week before the fucking fight, and then six months later they're still emailing the CEO of HugeDickCondoms.net trying to get their 400 bucks. So I know it's good times to rip on Reebok, yeah they fucked up a bunch of names and shit, Giblet Melendez may you forever remain in our hearts, but it's not as doom and gloom as it appears to be, there's positives here. I think this thing went a little Nickelback, everybody just kind of jumped on the hate wagon. I mean Nickelback might suck, but the instruments and shit work, you know? The sound recordings are well done, there's worse bands in the world is what I'm saying. Here's another tip for you fucking chowder heads. There's ways to go about things and there's ways to not go about things. If you got problems with Reebok or whatever the fuck is your problem, go talk to somebody in charge, call somebody on the phone, tell them what your situation is and why you'd like it to change. Go get other fighters who feel the same way to voice their concerns. Be a fucking professional. It works a lot fucking better than hopping on Twitter and saying Reebok can suck every dick in my entire family lineage. Yeah, sure, a bunch of fucking skidders will like it and retweet it and say you're the fucking greatest. But guess what? Those motherfuckers don't give a shit about your money. They don't give a shit about your fucking kids. They don't give a shit about your fucking bills. They're on Twitter to get their ha-has. Ten seconds later, a Kardashian posts a picture they already fucking forgot about you. And you know what's gonna end up happening with all that? When the Reebok contract is up, Reebok's gonna look at all this bad publicity. And you know what they're gonna do? They're just gonna fucking leave and so's every other major sponsor. You think Nike wants a bunch of high-profile professional athletes tweeting that their products are worse than a Michael Bay movie directed by Zack Snyder? No, they're just gonna not make a fucking deal with us. Then what are we gonna have? We're gonna have fucking WMEIMG clothes. 20 years ago, people thought MMA was some Tyler Durden bare knuckle basement shit, and a lot of dumbasses still think that way. We're just now making some headroom. Don't blow it for 5k. Fucking talk to somebody and make some shit work out. I know not everything is good, and I know there are problems to be addressed, but address it like you're a fucking business, and not an angsty teenager whose parents took away their fucking Xbox. Look, bottom line, we're in this fucking thing. It's not gonna change no matter how many likes our fucking tweets get. Let's do on our end what we can to make this a positive for us so in the future we're in an even fucking better position to get more money to get more shit. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play Skyrim VR for 14 hours straight. Have a good one.